Welcome to Badge Banter, where we feature stories from our awesome partners about the importance of the photo ID badge as the foundation of an organization's security efforts. I'm Lindsay Martinez from Badge Pass, and I'm really excited to introduce today's guest and one of my good friends, Shannon Reardon from AMSCO. Welcome, Shannon. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Well, before you share your story with us today, why don't you go ahead and tell us just a little bit about AMSCO and your role there? So AMSCO, we are 45 years old and we are based in Little Rock, Arkansas, and we serve most of the state with ID badging and security needs. I've been with AMSCO for 16 years um, and have grown up in this industry much like Lindsay has. So we've, uh, we've I've slowly moved up to vice president and been in sales for my entire career thus far. So I always, Shannon and I really kind of both got our start here and it's like we grew up in it is the best way to describe it. But Shannon has horrific photos of her dressed up as an ID badge at trade shows in early days of her career. Mm -hmm. And I similarly have very ridiculous photos of me as a kid on sample, like I'm the sample badge uh, yeah. that used to exist for all different types of marketing campaigns back in the day, which I don't remember giving my consent for. So yeah, I don't know. I no, we could we could roll these pictures in with the credits from this week's episode, right? Or something. We should find those for sure. I know. I, so. I know where they are. So <laughs> I know where my mom has stored all of these. And I think that one of them is posted here at the office. So we can find those easily. I like it. I like a throwback. So uh, this series is really dedicated to talking about the importance of photo ID. And I don't just mean photo IDs like throwback IDs where our photos are on them uh, as sample badges, but really more importantly, photo IDs and how organizations use them. So Shannon, why don't you kind of dive into your story and how uh, organizations or facilities in your area have benefited from the use of photo ID? So AMSCO has, we've always been really involved with the K through 12 and higher ed market. Um, but over the past several, I don't know, past particularly the past decade, we have done a lot more with K through 12 and focusing on on campus security. Obviously, school districts have really been updating their uh, security needs and making sure that this is a part of their uh, processes. So um, we've done a lot, had a lot of success with school districts as they first maybe want to only look at ID badges and maybe sometimes it's only for staff and then growing that in with students. Eventually what we always find is that they want to then get the visitor management piece and then once they can find more funding go and get the access control. Um, we've had a lot of success with them starting small and then growing to a bigger security platform using their ID badges. Uh, we also find that you know as one person leaves one district and goes to another one, they simply can't function unless they also have these same processes and solutions implemented there at their uh, campus. So um, a lot of our districts are doing are, are using grant funds that they've been able to find and um, use the, that to do big projects, particularly if it's a small rural district and they'll never get the millage to help afford a solution like this. Um, and then we've also done some with ESSER funds or the um, the COVID money. So we've just seen several different ways that they're able to get there, regardless of the size of the district, that we can usually help them find some funds for that. I think that's a, a really good point. Sometimes when school districts in particular think about like a security initiative, a lot of times they're thinking like big picture, what's all the stuff that I want to do within my district from a security perspective? And that can be so overwhelming. Absolutely. Uh, because you're talking about uh, a lot of times it's cameras and doors and visitor management. And when you're able to go in and talk to them, like you're saying, and you can say, all right, let's start with the photo ID. Let's make that the foundation, the foundation of everything that you're going to do here. And as long as everybody's got a badge, then ultimately we can enable them to do stuff with that badge as we add those applications. And it's almost like you can just take it off in like bite-sized chunks right. and it helps make everything so much easier to digest. And then of course, like they can find funding as it becomes available um, and it just makes everything so much simpler down the road. So I love that. It's always going to be eating an elephant. It's never going to be, here's one little thing that's going to do everything that you could possibly need to. You'll always need to adjust and improve your solutions, but starting with something strong will help you move forward more easily. So yeah, I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Shannon. It's always great to catch up, catch up with you. So I really appreciate your time today. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. Well, join us next time as we take you beyond the badge.